Title, Harmony Restored, A Gnome's Revelation. In the heart of the mystical iridescent forest, where ancient trees whispered secrets and the air pulsed with magic, a curious disturbance caught the attention of the companions. Synth Celtic, the elven ear fairy Graham, stood with Bangir, his engineering genius, and the seraphic pure and sublime. Angelic Mel stood alongside Mia, the animal whisperer, and Aurora, the fox warrior. They had their faithful dogs, Boo and Peppers, at their sides. The forest, once a haven of tranquility, now echoed with the chaotic cries of two gnomes, Harry and Sprinkles. Their faces contorted with determination, they herded giant dragonflies into mushroom dens, their intentions unclear. The companions exchanged puzzled glances. Something was amiss in the land of the gnomes, and they were about to discover just what it was. Approaching cautiously, Bangir extended a hand, signaling for the gnomes to halt. Greetings, friends, we come in peace. What brings such fervor to your task? Harry, his beard tangled with leaves and twigs, looked up with wide eyes. Fireflies, they must be stopped. They're stealing the night sky. Sprinkles, equally disheveled, nodded vigorously. Can't have it. No, we can't. Giant dragonflies must guard the dens. Synth stepped forward, her presence radiating calm. Fear not, dear gnomes. We are here to help, but first, let us understand. Why do you believe fireflies are a threat? Harry and Sprinkles exchanged a hesitant glance before Harry spoke. We heard stories, tales from the elders, that fireflies carry a secret power, a power that could bring ruin to our land. Mel, her eyes gleaming with understanding, approached with a reassuring smile. Sometimes, stories can be misunderstood. Fireflies are not here to harm. They light the night with their gentle glow, bringing beauty and wonder to the world. Mia knelt beside a giant dragonfly, her hand extended in a gesture of trust. These creatures are a part of the forest's delicate balance. They, too, have a purpose. Aurora's fox companions, their eyes filled with curiosity, approached the gnomes, their tails twitching inquisitively. Boo and Peppers, sensing the shift in energy, stood guard with quiet vigilance, ready to lend their support. As the companions worked alongside Harry and Sprinkles, a newfound understanding blossomed. The gnomes had acted out of a misguided sense of duty to protect their home. In their hearts, they believed they were doing what was right. With the guidance of Bangir's engineering skills, they constructed miniature lanterns to hang in the mushroom dens. These lanterns, infused with the essence of fireflies, created a gentle, ambient glow that danced like starlight. Inside the mushroom dens, a world of enchanting wonder unfolded. The walls of the dens were adorned with intricate patterns reminiscent of ancient tapestries woven from delicate threads of luminescent moss. Soft, ethereal light emanated from the walls, casting a gentle, golden glow that danced in harmony with the ambient radiance of the firefly lanterns. The floor was covered with a velvety carpet of moss, soft and inviting to the touch. It seemed to pulse with a subtle, rhythmic energy, as if it held the heartbeat of the forest itself. Tiny, jeweled dewdrops adorned the moss, glistening like stars fallen from the night sky. In the corners of the dens, small shelves held miniature treasures, acorn cups filled with iridescent pollen, delicate feathers left behind by forest birds, and smooth stones imbued with the magic of the land. Each item seemed to hum with its own unique energy, adding to the sense of mystique within the space. As for the dragonflies, they were magnificent creatures, their wings spanning the width of a tall human's arm. Their bodies glistened with an opalescent sheen, reflecting the soft light of the firefly lanterns. The delicate filigree of their wings resembled stained glass windows, adorned with intricate patterns that seemed to shift and change with every movement. These gentle giants moved with a grace that belied their size, their flight a dance of elegance and precision. They emitted a soft, melodic hum, a harmonious chorus that filled the dens with a soothing serenade. The dragonflies, once apprehensive, now exuded a sense of calm contentment. They seemed to understand the importance of their role in preserving the delicate balance of the forest. With every beat of their wings, they contributed to the symphony of life that echoed through the iridescent realm. Together, within the mushroom dens, the companions and the dragonflies coexisted in a delicate tapestry of life. The den was a sanctuary of harmony, where the boundaries between creature and environment blurred, and the magic of the forest pulsed through every fiber of being. 
Harry and Sprinkles watched in awe, their faces aglow with newfound understanding. They had been guardians of the forest in their own way, and now they saw the true beauty of harmony restored. Synth Celtic, her wings aglow with the iridescence of fireflies, turned to the gnomes with a smile. You are stewards of this land, dear gnomes. Embrace the magic that surrounds you and let it be a beacon of unity for all who call this forest home. The gnomes nodded, gratitude shining in their eyes. From that moment forward, Harry and Sprinkles became valued members of the forest community, their hearts open to the wisdom of their companions. As dawn painted the sky with soft hues of pink and gold, the forest basked in the afterglow of a night filled with newfound understanding. The companions, along with Harry and Sprinkles, stood together, a testament to the power of compassion and the magic that could be woven when hearts were open. And so the iridescent forest continued to thrive, its beauty a testament to the extraordinary possibilities that awaited those who dared to believe in the transformative power of unity and love.